Hello guys and welcome to Countdown to Tank Fest Part 2. This week we are looking at the mighty Soviet medium tank, the T-54, tier 9 medium tank. And what a tank it is. But before we dive in too much, just quickly go over the competition from last week. Well, I asked if we managed to hit 100 likes, then we would give away three codes for three days premium. If we didn't hit that, then I was just going to give away one. Well, we hit 100 likes within about two hours, um, and it's now within a week it's hit just over 300. I think it's on 325, so pretty crazy. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Um, that's, um, that's a pretty insane amount of likes for a couple of thousand views, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we had over 300 entries as well. There were just over 300 comments left. So, without further ado, we will give away three different codes for three days premium, whether that's Xbox or PS4. I have done a random number generator thingy and picked the three, and they are Ian Rogerson on Xbox, Joined Parsley 56 also on Xbox, and Snappiest Monk, who is also an Xbox player. So. Xbox cleaned up this week, but the codes are available for anyone, so if we get PS4 winners, you will still get codes. Do not worry. Go so first damage shot for the T-54. So we'll come back to that in a sec, but um, we're here on Arctic Ridge, and this is a bit of an older replay. You might have realised it never... I don't think it ever went up on the channel, but it's from um, last year sometime. You might tell because I don't have the Beard Clan tag next to my name. But as I often like to with a medium tank, I like, well, with most tanks to be fair, I like to play really aggressively, especially when you've got pretty nice matchmaking like this. Push right up. Um, you've got nice front armor on the T54. It's got a nice low profile, so it does well at this sort of thing. Gun's not crazy good, but um, I, I kind of like it. I think it's pretty good. It's one of the lower penning guns of the of the tier 9 mediums. But it um, but it does the job very nicely. And it is, um, it's generally, I think it's probably considered pretty much the best. Well, I don't know. It's certainly up there with people's favourite tier 9 mediums. I guess the E50 is another big favourite. But yeah, so we're in a nice aggressive position here where we can spot out the enemies, we can place some shots, we're doing some nice damage to this AMX 50, he's very weak to the armour tank. A bit unlucky there. Um, yeah, so congratulations to those three winners of the codes. I will send those codes over to you shortly. In fact, I've probably sent them already. And we're also going to give away some more codes this week. And you're also going to get two replays today. So this is the first. It's a nice solo battle on Arctic region. A bit more um, slow and steady. Tactically played. And non-platooned. Boss, it gets wrecked. There was some nice spotting damage for me. And the second replay is going to be a short one um, that did go up on the channel before, but it never had a commentary on it. It was just kind of in the background while I talked about another competition, funnily enough. Um, and it was a really fun round that's over really quickly uh, and features a few friends of mine. So I want to show both of those. Um, you may well feature in it if you are someone I have platooned with in the past. So do hang around and check those both out. The T-54, of course, is a, another tank they have at Bovington Tank Museum, which is definitely in Dorset and not Devon, as uh, several people were we're quick to point out last week, so um, thanks guys, well noticed. Um, and I also apparently pronounced uh, Bovington wrong, apparently it's Bovington and not Bovington, who knew? Uh, there you go, so we were close, I think we got the dates right, 25th, 26th of June. If you're not familiar with Tankfest, it's a um, sort of yearly big event they have on at this big tank museum down in the sort of southwest of England, where they have an absolute crap ton of tanks, and a lot of people from the wargaming and water tanks community go there. And it should be really fun. We've never been before, but we are both going this year. And we're going to be there both days. So if you're coming down, uh, come and say hi. It's pretty much why we're going. is just to kind of meet people from the community and hang out and, and that kind of thing. So um, don't, don't be scared. Come and say hi. We're the ones with beards. Um, should be fine. And hopefully see some of you in June. Let us know in the comments if you're, um, if you're coming along and what day you're going to be coming. So we've pushed up a little bit now. Um, keeping being aggressive, we've got loads of tanks around this side, so there's no need for us to be scared. And because of the low profile of this tank, we can use this sort of mild undulations in the ground to, um, to get a bit of hard cover here. So even though we're pretty, feel like we're about in the open, there's enough, there's enough cover here to, um, to keep us safe. And we haven't actually lost a single hit point yet, with quite a nice amount, quite a nice amount of damage and, uh, and spotting points, or assisted points. 
So the competition this week is going to be in a similar vein. I'm sure you're eager to hear about it. We are going to do the same sort of thing. We've got some more codes for three days premium. We are going to give away... We'll give away one of those. And let's say if we hit... I mean, what do we hit? We hit 100 likes within a couple of hours last time. Maybe let's say if we hit over... Let's go if we hit over 300. I think we can hit 300. We managed 325 within a week last time. I think if you guys really push, we can hit... 300 plus likes on the video. If we hit 300 plus likes on the video, we will give away three codes. If we go under 300, then we will just give away one, maybe two. I'll tell you what, we'll give away one for every 100 views, every 100 likes. If you get 200 likes, it's two codes. If it's 300 likes, you get three codes. If you get more, if you get hit 400, we'll give away four. We'll go nuts. See what happens. Um, so there you go. Uh, Entry is going to be exactly the same as last week. Just leave a comment below with your that contains your gamer tag or PSN ID, and also tell me whether you play on Xbox or PlayStation, just so it's easier for me to find you and send you the right code. And feel free to write something else in the comments, you don't have to write that, but if you want, you can just write Don Tomo Xbox or whatever. Easy peasy. So we're pushing on these guys a little bit, trying to clear them out, trying to mop up. Ooh, getting a little bit bold here. But, um, but these are both pretty slow tanks I reckon I can get behind. And I've got so many tanks behind with me, it just feels like the time to push. Normally, if you're in a platoon, you'd be able to organize things a bit better or orchestrate things a bit better. Um, and my team don't really seem keen on helping me push here at all, um, which is a little bit disappointing, considering there's, what, four of them there tucked up that don't seem to want to take advantage of, of this push. But, you know, fine, guys. Why make things easy when you can um, when you can make things difficult? And there we go. Someone finally pushes in and realizes that flanking the Yag Tiger is probably a good idea. Who's still hardly taken any damage from these guys? Damn. There we go. He's finally gone. And now I finally lost a bit of health. But we've had a pretty solid round. So yeah, so that, I think that's everything um, competition-wise covered. I think it's all pretty simple. Drop a comment, leave a like, we'll see how we go on. Um, if the likes are looking a bit quiet and you want to get some more, then maybe tweet out the video or share it with some friends who play World of Tanks, you know. Maybe they'll love it, who knows. Maybe they'll hate it, but um, either way, we'll all learn something. So T54, it's a tank I haven't played for a while, I've started picking it up again the last uh, few weeks actually, I've been playing my T54 a bit, a bit. Um, it had a really rubbish crew on it for ages, so I moved my crew onto my um, Object 140, ooh, Indian Panzer, about to say bye bye, there it goes, quite a nice aim time on this gun really. Yeah, I've been playing a bit more recently. I put a new crew on it that I moved from. I can't remember what tank it was. One of my one of my Soviet tanks I wasn't really using too much. That I um I shuffled the crew over. So now I have a decent crew on my T54 again, and I think I'm going to play it a lot. I'm trying to clear up my garage. My garage is so full of random tanks, especially premium tanks. It's completely chocker, and it's hard to kind of pick what to use. So I'm trying to clear it out a bit. Although um I never like to sell premium tanks, so they're not going to really go anywhere. But there you go. And here we go, we're just using a bit of the mobility of tanks to try and, um, try and hunt down these last few people, firing a few more shots. So um, so if you missed the, the first episode in this series, I strongly recommend you go and check that out. It was a beast game in my Jagdtiger that I had quite recently actually. Um, that kind of inspired me to do the series in the first place. The idea is I'm going to do, do one of these a week, up until Tank Fest, so we're going to have ten of them. 10 episodes, and they're each going to feature a tank that they have, or have had recently at Bovington Tank Museum, in Dorset, not in Devon, um, and get lots of achievements. This is probably just after they uh, put it on Xbox One and you just got crap tons of achievements every time you play. That would um, make sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going nuts. But um, yeah, so so I've got a list of tanks I'm going to work through. There we go, we'll grab the win. So I've got a list of tanks I'm going to work through to try and get some good rounds in or dig out ones from our back catalogue to bring up for the series. Well, let's have a quick look at the at the end results before I waffle on. Oh, there we go. Blimey, what kind of op was that? Times two. What's the road to victory? Is that another times two? 10,000 XP. 
4,000 damage, 2,200 assisted, 1,000 blocks. Is it, am I going to scroll over to the ARP and we'll see? I guess that must be, what, a double? Another double on top? Naughty Ben, not looking at it. There we go, 1,700 base, 4k damage, top dog. Very nice, very nice. So let's jump onto this second round and I will continue talking. So here's a round number two. It's pretty old one again, and I'm platooned up with Mobius Y, with Grizzly, and with Double Vend. And it also features on the other team that I only noticed today. Um, it's got my friend Farico on it, who I probably didn't, so I may not have even known at this stage, but, um, but he's a guy who comes out of streams a lot. Good dude, very good player. Um, and yeah, and I just noticed when I watched this earlier that he's, um, he's in the artillery on the other team, actually. And we will bump into him later. But yeah, so the idea with this series is going to be 10 videos featuring 10 different tanks that are at Bobbington Tank Museum. I've got a list that I'm going to try and get some good games in over the next few weeks. Uh, they include, this isn't the definitive list, but some of the ones on my shortlist to try are going to be... Uh, I think we've got the... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, the Tog is obviously on there. We've got the Tiger and the Tiger 2, or the King Tiger. Uh, we've got the Panther on there. And there's various Panther variants. What else have we got in there? I mean, there's M3 and M5 Stewarts are there. Old Chaffee. Chaffee is one I'm definitely going to try and do. Uh, Walker Bulldog would be a good one. They've got Locust there. I like the Locust, but I don't know how exciting a Locust replay is going to be. Maybe if I can add two or three beast games in the Locust, I can string them together, and that might be um, might be good to watch. Uh, the Hellcat. They've got a Hellcat there this year. I don't believe they normally have there, so that would be another fun one. And the Yag Tiger's already gone up. Kind of tempted to get back my M103. They do have one of those, but um, I'm not sure. I'll see. I'll go with the other ones. It's a bit of an expense rebuying a T9 tank. But there you go. I like this replay because it is an absolute landslide. It just we just absolutely roll over them. So there we go two two down already. Nice little platoon of medium. Well, to mediums and a heavy really with the artillery backup. But we just absolutely do not stop, and I love it. I just love it. This is why I love playing World of Tanks sometimes. You ram the E25 while shooting the other guy. Spin round and track him. Realise he's not really a threat anymore. There's Mr. Farrakhan in the artillery. Nice easy shot. Throw that inside of him. While just shunting casually away the E25. And finally decide to actually shoot him and kill him. So the enemy are down six tanks. We're a couple of minutes into the game. We haven't lost any yet. This Tiger P is about to get absolutely ravaged. And I'm trying to, uh, I want to keep moving as well. So I want to get another shot on him, but there we go. But also don't want to stop because this this is what happens sometimes when you platoon up with good players. Um, it can really be a race to get damage done. I find it happens a lot when you're playing with, with some of these good guys. You just end up like absolutely charging like mad. Fighting over the damage. I definitely disagree. Well, some people say that it's um, it can be better to, to pad your stats, especially win eight. If you want to pad your win eight, if you're not familiar with that, I'll maybe talk about that another time. But um, you know, a lot of people moan about players platooning to kind of pad that, and I don't think that's kind of crap to be honest, because that's not really how it works. And if you're a decent player, you're probably going to do more damage playing on your own because when you're playing with other good players, boom! I don't know where that shot went. Um, you're going to get more damage playing on your own. Because if you're with good players, there's uh, there's less damage to go around because you're all going to be getting a piece of that. So, as you can see, we are just over three minutes into the battlefield. The enemy are down to five tanks. Uh, and we've driven all the way around in a big loop. And we're nearly back in the middle. Oh, there's Farrakhan. There we go. down to three there's the enemy at tiger two and we've almost gone full circle now back to where we spawned to find the final enemy tanks and for a, a tier nine battle to be uh, to be over this quickly only lost two artillery so far i haven't lost any normal tanks And there we go, mopping up the E75, and was that a T32 they've got there as well. Still only lost 150 hit points, so couldn't care less about them shooting me at the moment, but I'm still going to uh, keep driving around a bit anyway. But yeah, just absolutely ridiculous game. I forgot about this round, I watched it earlier and <laughs> just forgot how good it was. 
definitely need to roll out in some uh, some tier 9 platoons again. I, I love tier 9, it's such a good fun tier to play. It's like nice high tier battles without ridiculous tier 10 tank destroyers. And there we go, we won. We got 3,201 XP that time, 4.5k damage, a little bit of assisted, a little bit of block, and a nice high caliber. You see, kind of tough to get um, good mastery in T-54. It's, in, it's a competitive tank, a lot of people use it, so... Um, 1600 XP, 4.5k damage, only enough to get the uh, the number 2 mastery. But there we go, hope you uh, enjoyed the video this week. I'm not sure what tank it will be next week. We'll see what I manage to um, get a good game in. And, um, and that'll be a nice surprise. Hopefully that'll come up by Thursday or Friday next week. We'll see, we'll see. So nice one, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment if you want to enter the competition with your gamer tag and whether you play on xbox or playstation and make sure you whack that like button if you want to um get some more codes to give away if we get 200 if we get 100 it'd be one code if we get 200 it'd be two 300 three codes etc etc hopefully for the last week of this series as well i'll have a tank or something to give away we'll see i'm working on that cool all right nice one thank you very much for watching guys my name is ben we are the beard guys and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.